This is by far the best and easiest method to speed ramping. When I get this footage from a YouTube channel, I'm gonna link it down below. Hopefully it don't copyright strike me. To get started, you need to activate your read time curves. Pretty much the only way to activate that is through the menu. You will right click on your footage and go to read time curve. By default, it's gonna have read time frame in the slot here. Hit the little drop down, go down to read time speed. And if you want just for organization purposes, uncheck read time frame, that way the line wasn't gonna appear up here in your little spine graph. Me personally, I actually mapped it to a uh, keyboard shortcut. Not sure how to do that. <laughs> go over here to DaVinci Resolve, keyboard customizations, and go to the little search bar, you're gonna type in read time. Re time. And you got read time curves here. By default, read time curve does not have a keyboard shortcut. I chose to use Alt R. You can map to any key that you want. From there, you're simply gonna select the points in which you want this, the footage to speed up and also slow down. And most edits, you kind of speed through it in camera motion and then normalize it once it gets steady on the subject. Now I'm on the first render footage, I'm gonna go over a couple of frames and then I'm gonna hold Alt on the keyboard and select this little line here. And, or alternatively, you can actually hit the keyframe marker here and then mark the keyframe. From there, you simply grab this line here with your mouse and move it up. You can actually see the speed and you're increasing to. By default, it stops at 300. Go over here, highlight these numbers and move it to the right. You can get a little more range and you can actually move it up even further. From there, let the footage play out till you want to normalize and then you're going to either click the keyframe here or hold Alt and click on it again and then just grab the line, bring it down. From here, you want to, you want, what it says read time speed, you want to basically bring it back down to 100% to normalize it. And you can't type these numbers in, so sometimes it's kind of hard to get back to 100%. You gotta kind of work with the mouse until you get there. Now looking at the chart, you can tell it's a straight line up, over and straight line down. You wanna add a little curve to it there so it can actually ramp into the speed. So you basically wanna select a little notch here, or your keyframe rather, and then click this little button here and do the same for this. You wanna do this for every speed ramp or change that you do throughout the clip. Now, say for instance, you wanna slow it down, select another keyframe, you can grab this line and drink it all the way down to one. And basically that will slow the footage to absolute freeze frame. Now this footage here is like 30 frames a second, so it's not ideal for a slow motion, but you can achieve it. I would suggest no more than probably like 45%. So you go here and bring this back up to about 40, 45, by around that mark. They give you a nice little slow motion. And you can see it's kind of choppy a little bit in the framing. So actually to counter wrap that, I'm gonna go over here to the inspector tab, hit retime, process, go down to optical flow. Optical flow actually help fill in those frames, kind of give you a little bit smoother of a, a slow motion effect. Also got motion estimation, you wanna hit the drop down and drop down to enhance better. And from there, you just repeat the process until you're done and then you take your clip into the fusion. The reason we're taking the clip into fusion is for the motion blur. So hit control space, type in motion. You're gonna hold shift on the keyboard and add this to your node tree. Go over into the spectrum tab. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it to better. Now this also depends on your processing power. So if it's too laggy, too choppy, whatever, just kind of drop, leave it on faster. You still can get a good motion blur. I'm gonna crank this up a little bit, then I'm gonna go back into the edit page. And when you see the little red line here, I'm gonna let it render and then play it back. Other than that, it's the quickest and easiest way to perform speed ramping. If you liked today's video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for future content, and I'll holler at you next time.